Hello everyone, this is Elena. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how I color uh, my character's hair along with some of the hair accessories. Let's get on with the video. Okay, so the very first thing I do when I'm coloring the hair is I make another layer on top of the skin layer. And so whatever mess you might have made around the hair area or when you were coloring the skin, it won't really matter because when you have a layer on top of the when you have your hair layer on top of the skin layer, you're pretty much coloring over it, even though your skin layer has been locked. So generally, uh, generally any kind of layer overlapping another one, you're going to be coloring over the bottom layer no matter what. And if you have a layer underneath one in particular, then you won't be able to color anything in it. Here I was trying to see what color I wanted for the hair to be. Initially I, I wanted it to be purple, but I think that wouldn't be a great choice since the background is going to be kind of a purple, pink purplish color. So I decided to change it to kind of like a, a light blue. And when I'm shading the uh, hair, I don't really have a, there's really no right or wrong way to do it, but one thing to keep in mind is to kind of see exactly uh, where a light source is going to be and then kind of go from there. So there's not really a particular light source in this drawing, so I'm just kind of doing whatever I think makes it look good. like the shining parts of the hair what I do is like in the last video I showed was I make a luminosity layer on top of the hair layer and lower the opacity once I've got down all the everything I needed and then merge the luminosity layer with the hair layer and then I the color the lines the clean sketch or the line art and something that I've been trying to do lately for whenever I'm coloring the, the lines is to use the uh, colors from light and dark so if there's a darker part of the hair where the hair is colored I use a darker color to color the lines and if it was if there's a brighter color such as the highlights in the hair then I try to color the li uh, lines with the lighter color that way it kind of brings out the colors more it just makes things a lot more smooth and pretty for the bow or the ribbon I wanted to color the lines kind of a purplish color because that way it doesn't look like it's blended in with the hair I wanted to make it really noticeable for the different colors
so that's the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to be finishing up the drawing. So I'm going to do all the clothes and any other accessories, and including the background. If you like this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.